Hello Anza, here we're going to compare your swing from Hawaii to your uh, present swing in Japan after you uh, tried to make some swing changes. Uh, we're going to start with uh, this picture of your down the line uh, view of the top of the backswing. Notice how your left arm is above the yellow line. The yellow line is your shoulder plane line, the green line is your torso plane line, and we want your swing to uh, be somewhere in between those two lines. As you transition into the downswing, you're coming straight down the shoulder plane, which is the yellow line here, which is a little bit too vertical for uh, this club that you're swinging. You recover into a pretty good delivery position. Once again, left arm is still on the shoulder plane, and the club is going to come into impact on that shoulder plane as well. This is just a little bit short of impact right now. As I mentioned in another video, you tend to stay down through the full extension here. We'd like you to be posting up on that left leg and actually getting taller in your posture by this point in your full extension. You've done a good job of exiting in between the yellow line and the green line, which shows that you're more in plane. You know, we noticed that your uh, swing plane was somewhere between the pure shoulder plane, the yellow line, and the pure torso plane, the green line. So you've done a good job of recovering up to this point in your swing. I've also mentioned that I'd like to see you finish with a more vertical posture. That would be your spine on the blue line in this picture. As you can see, you're still bent over with your spine being aligned on the yellow line in this picture. Now we're going to take a look at your swing from uh, when you were in Hawaii earlier in the year. This is with a driver, so the swing plane is going to be shallower. However, the yellow line will still be the shoulder plane line, and the green line will still be the torso plane line. And like I said, we recognize when you're in Hawaii that your plane was somewhere in between the two instead of being pure shoulder plane or uh, pure torso plane. The thing that stands out in this picture is that your left arm is actually below the shoulder plane line, so once again it's more in between. It's closer to the shoulder plane than the torso plane, but it is in between instead of being above the line like we saw in your current swing from Japan. As you transition into delivery in Hawaii, we can see you've dropped your swing down onto the torso plane. So now the shaft of the club is on the torso plane instead of the shoulder plane like it is presently in your swing in Japan. Now in the delivery position, your left arm is in between the planes again, and the shaft is on the, the torso plane slot, and we're noticing that your right arm is a lot lower than it is in your present swing. As you come into impact, your left arm and the shaft are in between the two lines again, showing that you're on a much better plane to deliver solid contact through the ball. In this full extension, you're a little bit more vertical, and you've pushed up off the ground using your vertical ground forces a lot better than you're presently doing in your golf swing. Here the shaft of the club is between the two lines, just like it is in your present swing. That's why I mentioned earlier, it looks like that you recover well from impact into your follow-through. The blue line once again shows the, the, the angle I'd like to see your spine at in the finish, with a nice vertical, tall posture. However, you are much more vertical here than you were in your present swing that we saw earlier. Now let's compare each of the positions from your uh, present swing to the swing in Hawaii, side by side, one after another here. At the top of the backswing, your left arm now is presently above the yellow line, the shoulder plane line. As we look at your swing in Hawaii, your left arm was below that shoulder plane line, and your hands are much deeper behind you. Your right hip turned deeper as well. In your present swing, you transition very vertically, coming down on the shoulder plane line. When you were in Hawaii, your transition was actually much flatter, more on the torso plane line, the green line. Your delivery positions look pretty similar because you recover pretty well presently. However, when you were in Hawaii, you were actually in a little flatter delivery position with your left arm below the shoulder plane line. Even at impact, you seem to be recovering pretty well. However, you're still a little bit vertical on the shoulder plane line. And when you were in Hawaii, you're once again clearly below that shoulder plane line as you came into impact. In your extension position, you're actually staying down a lot more now than you were when I saw you in Hawaii. In Hawaii, you had a more vertical push up off the ground and your spine angle was releasing vertically through the extension. You recover well in your fall through now. Your shaft is in between the two lines and it's extending up through your left shoulder. We see the same thing in your swing in Hawaii, even though this is a flatter swing with a driver. In your full fall through, you're still tilting a lot to your right bent over instead of releasing your spine angle vertical. We saw a much more vertical finish in Hawaii. Now, it's clear that you're playing a lot better golf in Hawaii than you're playing right now, and all your angles and your lines were better when you were playing in Hawaii, so we need to move more in that direction if you want to start playing better golf.